Hi, welcome to this part, part 21. We are looking at AWS Architect Professional Certification. Today we will look at questions linked with these three topics. Please hit the subscribe button to get frequent alerts of any materials related to cloud certifications. Remember, this channel is totally dedicated to help you with cloud certifications, primarily Amazon, Azure, and Google Cloud. If you haven't got the chance to click the join button, please do that. I have posted the link in the description of this video. At a small premium, you can get access to so much of certification content. Let us look at the question now. This question is about DynamoDB. Now they have built the DynamoDB with hash and range keys. What are these? See, DynamoDB supports two kinds of primary keys. You know, in the database world, there is always a primary key that you define at the table level. DynamoDB is similar to that, even though it is not an RDBMS database. That means you cannot fire SQL queries. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database. And its purpose is to give you very high performance. Applications like Uber use that. So you got to define primary keys and you can create a partition key or a partition key with a sort key. So when you define uh, a key, like these are all, all keys, it is asking whether is it important, is it mandatory to create indexes or is it optional? I would not, I would not delve into depth of local, global and so on. Is it mandatory? I repeat, is it mandatory to create indexes or is it optional? The answer is optional. You may decide that you have these primary keys, but you do not, you do not, you do not need a secondary index. So my answer in this case is it's optional. It's optional. Now you might think about, okay, you're talking about secondary indexes. Is there something called primary indexes? So in the SQL world, in the relational database world, you create indexes using create index statement this way okay in DynamoDB you use secondary index so when you specify when you say I will create secondary index boss which type there are two types global secondary indexes local secondary indexes global local global local global does not mean you can go to USA UK and so on it means the primary key of the index can be any two attributes from its table if there are like 10 fields you can use two fields the primary key of the index can be that in local secondary index the partition key of the index must be same as the partition key of its table however the sort key can be different so this would be my answer see you are using s3 i'm um, at the next question you are using s3 okay and the data must be encrypted at rest at rest but in the option i see in transit in transit when the question asks about encryption at rest and you are having option with encryption in transit that option is straight away wrong now if i just whiz through the options I see something like server side encryption, etc. So that looks correct. Okay, but I also see something which looks wrong that is bucket policies. You know, this option is trying to restrict access to the data at rest. But in this question, you have to encrypt it, boss. You don't have to restrict the access. So this is also wrong. Now I see something really fishy. I see one option here with EC2 key pair. Does the question here talk about EC2? No, boss, it is talking about S3. Then why will we choose an option with EC2? This is wrong. So I had to choose three answers and I was able to prove that three options are wrong. So I have my answers, this, this, and this. It has server-side encryption. We want an encryption solution. We want an encryption solution. We want an encryption solution. Even though it is client side, it will still work. It will still work. Option A says you will encrypt using KMS. 
that means the keys can be controlled for encryption digitally using KMS or you can use customer provided keys customer provided keys that is also possible you may have some other software you use to generate the keys or in this case you are encrypting the data before you are ingesting to S3 and using your own master key so when it lands in S3 it is already encrypted so these are my answers now the next question there are two security groups this one and this one okay it ends here it starts here it, this one ends here the question is saying which ones are true the first one says it is not possible to have more than one security group assigned to a single instance so if you see what is a security group it acts as a virtual firewall for your ec2 instances so that means you can control incoming and outgoing traffic now the option here or the documentation it clearly says you can specify one or more security groups and hence a is wrong because i can still do that i can have multiple security groups assigned to a single instance we just saw in the documentation now here it says you cannot you cannot create security group with conflicting rules aws will reject it so one thing you remember security group rules are permissive you cannot create rules to deny access okay these are always permissive so for example you have multiple security groups and these groups are aggregated to create one set of rules so you can assign multiple security groups to an instance that's why aws will not reject it but the best practice is you need to condense your rules as much as possible that means aws will not reject the request you as a best practice have the ownership to condense the rules so this is wrong now c says that this will allow inbound traffic for everyone for both ports 20 to 80 which is right because if you see here uh, inbound it is allowing everything outbound it is allowing everything sorry in this is inbound on port 80 and this is in route to port 22 so it is allowing everything hence this looks to be the right answer let's still look at d d says it will allow inbound on port 22 port 22 for this but what about it is giving you a range like 232 it will not only allow on this so this is wrong so this would be my answer folks if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe this channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications please hit the join button below the link is below this video and you can get access to unlimited content for a very small fees See you in the next part.